Morning everyone. Well, 6.30 in the morning, pitch black, and it's demo day for record power. So I'm gonna go into the workshop now, get the fire lit, and then eight o'clock, we've got a sound and an audio check and routine check ready for this evening at 7.30 GMT time to deliver the demonstration for record power live. So I'm looking forward to seeing you this evening and uh, I'm going to do, I did a couple of dress rehearsals on yesterday and I got a lot of preparation done on Monday. So another dress rehearsal the day before tonight and then uh, hopefully we'll be good to go this evening. We'll have some fun. So see you this evening, 7.30 GMT. All you need to do is send an email to mikeD at recordpower.co.uk, RSVP in the subject line, and you'll get a reply with a padlock which will give you entry into the Zoom. Bye for now. Take care. Stay safe. Pretty much equalised, and so they're not having to turn their volume up all the time. You know, so we're doing an audio an check and a sound check now. Carl, You'd be able to see on the Carl, TV. Your microphone is absolutely brilliant. It's a very good microphone that sounds really crisp. It's a it's a call centre headset because. Uh, the guy I used to, well, the guy I worked for used to run call centers. There so we go. It's, an it's idea of sound and audio check. Off. But when I'm using my, so the settings in Zoom, I have to have that noise suppression low. But when I'm now talking, so when I'm actually talking through this, I have to set the noise suppression to high. Because otherwise, when I'm typing on my keyboard, you'd hear. Try. What I found is that with the noise suppression being high, the video won't play. Will you switch the video on again, please, Mike? So now the noise suppression is high. Can't hear it. No. But when I actually move that noise suppression, I'm going to put it to low. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, that's a better that's a volume. Video. Yeah, much yeah. better volume. But it's playing great. There's no latency at all. No. No. Here, right. this we're trying the so, video now. So the video is now playing well, and uh, we've all leveled each other's audios. Well, that's the dogs walked. So done the the dog exercise. There's Indy. Going to get a shower. Look at the colour of them. I don't know. And they stood there, they'll go into all the filthy mutton puddles that there is in the wood. But have a shower, you'd think I was going to drown them. Anyhow, what the dogs had a good chat to my friend Craig from Record Power. And um, gone through in my mind what's going to be sort of the, the chronology of events. So I'll start cutting the wood next so that we've got nice fresh timber for the evening. There we go, you two. You ready for your shower? Yeah, I don't know. Right, I'm in the shower booth and I'm just throwing up some blanks. Um, these are absolutely soaked and wet, so they're not what I'm going to be using tonight. But I'm going to turn a one out of one of these really wet ones to show tonight the bending process. So. I'll just throw this side up, you'll be able to see how really wet they are. Now just clean that up, I'll turn it around to the left hand, pick that cut up on there. Right I'll get in front of the camera, down to here, just to pick that up there, on there, clean that up. There we go. So there we are, cleaned up, and a lot of the moisture on the end of that. Gouge.
it's lunchtime and I've done another sound check with Pat, Helen and Carl and a close up on the video check. So there's, there's some of the hat, that's going to be one that's going to be bent tonight to show the bending. But that's just one little hat, look at all the shavings. But thank goodness for these shower screens, it keeps all the moisture and mess all in one place. So right, that's the thickness on the scissor calipers. If I put my finger in there, the gap between that nut or that brass nut there and that bolt is the amount of wood to come off. So if we go into here, do check it on there. Actually, I'm better that way. I wonder if you can see if the camera there, into there, the gap. Hang on a bit. There, the gap. There's no gap, so I know that that's the right thickness there. And also. From this side, I can use the scissor, cal scissor caliper to get the depth, and I'm about a millimetre off the end there. So if I just bring the camera over here, you can see uh, it's about a millimetre off the end, two mil off the end, so that'll be fine to finish off the top of the hat. So with sanding, I take two bits of abrasive, fold it over on each side, and then I press even on both sides like that. Now the abrasive that I've got on the outside is 240 so that's what I've taken sound to. But I'm going through the grits again on the actual inside of the brim. So the right hand side of the brim is back to 80. The left hand side is 240. Watch you don't touch the bond. And then you just sand it with the water like that. So you slurry build up. And then inside, like that, and across the top. There we go. And that. Go through all the grits. 80, 120, 180, 240, and that's it. Always with water, and always with protection on the bed of your leaf. Record mag light, the new light that's available. Watch this. Look at the light that's through that. It's, it's like a like a floodlight. It's ideal for being able to gauge the thickness of the wall on the hat. So in here, what I've got is little mag lights. It's a cluster of three. On a full size hat, I've got a cluster of 21 of these and it lights it up beautifully. So 
So I'll show you, I'll just knock the mag light off here. Go on to there and you can see the light is in there and it's shown sufficient light to be able to finish the crown of the hat on this wet wood. And this is wet silver birch. I'm going to finish the crown now. Little bits and often. Then you can see the light coming through the top. Just going to take that down into there. Pick the foot up, turn that into there. Blend that at that point there. Don't forget that you want, you've got end grain at the side, and this is side grain on the top. So if you look at that, and I pop that on there, the colour there wants to be about the same colour here. So we can see from there what the thickness is. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit heavier on the top, at the end of the day, it's purely for decoration. So there we are, you can see the light, especially when I put my hand over here to shade it through the top. So I'll take that down a bit more. Close as I can to the drive centre. Into there, bevel rubbing onto there, pick the foot up. And down to there. Again, sand the top with the abrasive wet like that. Gently does it because that hat's just held on with a little bit of router mat. And just you can see the slurry building up there. And you can see that the orange on the side isn't quite as bright as the orange. Is it, sorry, the orange on the top isn't quite as bright as the orange on the side. And that's because you can see end grain every 180 degrees, whereas this is all just side grain. So it needs to be a shade darker in order to be able to have the correct wall thickness. It's a little heavier than the brim, it doesn't matter because it's decorative. There we go, sand it up and now we'll let it rest before we put it into the actual bending jig. I'll just dry that off with a bit of kitchen paper and that's it. Pull that out and there we are. That's the little the hat there and it's ready for going into the bending jig. There's a little hat, turn this afternoon ready for tonight and that'll be going into the cramp along with the elastic bands and prep some more wood, there's some down there just to spare and then there's the shavings from prepping, probably at least a good bin liner full. So we'll go on into the recording studio now and there we're all ready, wood's on the lathe, first piece, I've got another piece of wood down there spare just in case. Put some hats ready on display at the show, and some methods of bending and what have you. And now I've got some little ones, my very first vase that I turned when I was 14 on my new Sabre. Yeah, used it yesterday. Fantastic. Over the moon with it. So that's it. I'm going to see you later on now. I'll see you this evening, half past seven, on Record Power Live. Hello. Well, we're nearly ready for the demonstration at start but I'm going to finish off the demonstration with a song and I'm going to use the wine box guitar this time instead of the blues bowl I used the blues bowl last time and uh, I thought I'll use the wine box this time this is JDGB wine box made by uh, well of course it was made by me I turned the neck on the lathe and I put the um, fretboard on but I was going to say the wine box was given to me by a lovely friend of mine Auntie Kath and uh, Kath gave us that and it's one of my favourites so it's my favourite guitar actually out of all of them so there you are, there's the chill so we'll have a bit song Let me tell you a story about a turner that you might know Yes, he comes from a village near Durham it's called Billy Road and some say he's crazy, yes it has been said Because he turns lumps of wood and then he sticks them on top of his head Well, come on everybody, there's something you should know Record Power is putting on a show Theo and Andrew Andrew, turning all over the world. Right, I'll let you know a little 
little secret. I'm going to be doing a blues ball course and it's going to run over a month. And what we'll be doing is making it in three separate pieces. So three separate sections, three separate IRDs, I should say. The ball, the neck, and then we'll be doing the assembly. And then the fourth one, we're going to get together and we're going to learn the three basic chords. So we can just go and do that sort of thing and just generally have fun. So it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's one thing for sure. And I'll hope you'll learn um, some different techniques with the wood turning, the ball, the neck, the assembly and everything like that. And I'm really looking forward to it. So if you'd like Well, that's it. Just about at the end of the day. Look at all the shavings. There we go. Have to clean all that about clean in the morning. So thoroughly enjoyed it. Demonstrating for record. And uh, very pleased with the numbers. And there we are, there's the starts. There's the one I turned. There. And there's one. Well, he's just about ready for bed, I think. And there we are. There's the one I did this afternoon. And it's bent nicely. Oh, that's bent nice. So, lovely bit of silver birch given to me by Len Shield. So that's it. We're done for the day. I'm going to set the alarms, lock up now, and then we sort it. Morning everyone, well it's 7 o'clock and uh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to clean the workshop up and hang on a minute, there's my big boy, I'll just go over there, he's just been out, he's actually, it's snowing outside this morning, so we've got the white stuff again, come on in, see look, it's covered in snow, on your lad, there we go, well, I'm going to go in the workshop, give it a good clean out, this morning and then I will do some finishing off and I think what I'll do is I'll pull together all of the information and put it into one video. Uh, some of you might know I lost, I've lost quite a lot of weight, it's deliberate. I do keto and I actually weighed myself yesterday morning and I weighed myself this morning and would you believe I lost four pound just on a day of demo and uh, so busy, you know, doing the full day and it made a heck of a difference. So anyhow, we shall catch up with you later and um, I'll show you the workshop once it's nice and clean and just a couple more things that might be of interest. So. Well, that's it, all tidied up. There's little Wally, he's gonna have a rest today. So that's me, look here where the camera goes so as I make sure that I'm looking in the right place for the camera. And there we are, all tidied up, ready for Sunday, I'm doing a training course Sunday afternoon and with the certificate in wood turning and all the gear is being put away. Actually, there's the, there we are, two big bags of shavings. So that'll be good bedding for the hens. I've got a spare there for next time. I'll have to prepare some more and got all this cleaned up where my wet turning area with the shower curtains. Shower curtains are brilliant. And there, finish off, that's the, all of the hats and the stuff that was on display last night and the wine box guitar and the blouse ball.